Laura. So we're standing here with one of the two permanent photographers for the European Press Agency. And what's your name? Bruce. Bruce. Henry. Okay, I'm Camilla. And Bruce took this very picture right here. Um, and he's going to explain briefly how he uh, managed to survive that peak because it isn't just something to do every day. Well, I took this shot about two hours after a bench collapse. So this is the main lava tube emptying directly into the ocean. So this volume of lava is tremendous. Uh, this river of lava, I estimate, was between 20 to 30 feet, at least 20 to 30 feet wide, and maybe 10 or 20 feet deep. So extreme volume of lava entering the ocean. As it's hitting the sea right here, it's exploding, causing a literal explosion. You can actually see bits of lava being thrown into the air here. Yeah. So I'm standing on a cone, looking about 50 feet down, shooting the shot. After I snapped this, I was running for my life. And where were you standing exactly? <laughs> if you point to the photo itself, if you point like this way, where were you standing exactly? I'm standing at the top of a cone, looking straight, looking down. straight down. And which way is the lava flowing out? Lava so this flows. is the edge of the cone here? This is the edge of the oh cone. Oh my god. I'm looking straight down, and uh, the lava is flowing out from beneath my feet. So th this way here? This way here. Yeah. Wow. And how hot would you say that would have been? Uh, the lava is over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. What I was feeling, I'm not sure. And it was sweating, so... If you were feeling half of that, it's pretty <laughs> hot. That's a 1,000 degrees, so <laughs> that's enough to melt a few bones. <laughs> wow. For sure. Yeah, that's something else. Yeah, I'll tell you. Who took the other photograph? I took this too. You did? Yeah. How, how charming. Yeah. See, I like that because of the full moon. So that's what we... And we can see it's night time. We can actually see the reflection on the clouds because of the full moon. But I'll let you explain the rest of it. Yeah. Um, I was there before sunset, mm -hmm. and I knew the moon was rising. So I had to position myself such that um, you know, the moon got into the frame, shooting with an extremely wide-angle uh, zoom lens, a 16 to 35, <laughs> shooting at 16 millimeters. And um, to get the moon in the shot, I had to position myself right over the main lava tube. So this shot was taken sitting on the main lava tube. Oh no. <laughs> so it was extremely hot extremely dangerous, there was gas uh, coming out of cracks around me. Um, yeah, I sat there and um, actually uh, because of the wide angle lens too, wide angles compress the image. So although this was throwing ejecta up into the air over 300 feet, I had to get close because the you know, compression uh, of the lens made the front end look small. Uh, so the only way to make it look bigger was get to get closer. closer. <laughs> so I'm not only sitting over the lava tube, I'm extremely close to the entry. And you're wearing gas masks or not? Yeah, I wear a respirator. Yeah, actually. respirator and, and three layers of clothing you said yeah. he's wearing too. You know. So one of these little bits um, ended up flying over, landed within 20 feet of me. That night I was actually escorted out by a couple of the rangers yeah. from the park. Oh yeah. yeah they were watching me from a hundred yards, about a hundred yards down. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to get close. Anyway, after that, they, they told me, they called me, it's a boost, it's time to get back. Wow. So that, that bit of lava actually ended up being a basketball-sized glob of molten lava. Glob, oh my god, yeah. that would have taken care of you. extremely dense, so it's not like you know, a bit of water falling on you, if it hits you, you die from the impact, not yeah. really from the heat. Yeah. So oh. Wow, and that was 20 feet from you? Yeah. <laughs> In Europe, that's about 7 meters, for those who don't know how to do the math. <laughs> that's not very far away. That's yeah. pretty close. And I noticed this is actually, this was taken December 7th. Yes. So there's a bit of a Pearl Harbor uh, anniversary going yeah. on here, too. Yeah, uh, I guess Pedro had something to say about that. Um, and this, this is taken in July 14th. Yeah, so this was about 6 months apart. Yeah. Right? Um, and it looks like Pele has been pretty busy for those six months, so... Yeah, pretty awesome. Well, thanks so much, Bruce. Sure, thank Appreciate you. That. Thanks. Be putting them on the wall.